I just need a little faith in the most high. He order all the steps I take. Time may get weary, but I gotta keep the pace. The clock is ticking, day of the Lord ain't gon' wait. I but yeah, I will walk the water for your grace. Grace. I but yeah, I will walk the water for you. Daily reflection got me vexed about my ways Then I reproach myself this flesh I can't escape Put myself in check Nike tracks Who in this case A two best sword You know that word Katana Blades uh, Blades Cut me asunder So my carnal mind don't blunder Think the most high for SOT I'm out that slumber I pray I'm of the multitude That you can't number uh, Number Times he had blessed me Like in forest counting Trees, yeah, how a light is judgment, bring it to your knees. And it's a thin line between just enough and greed. Yeah, greed. I'm hungry for some righteous knowledge. I'm intrigued and struggle hard to make it better for our seed. Loving your people, it's just more than a good deed. Seasons we got crabby with each other, disobeyed. So he put a nation over us, men that were base. They pervert the truth, they full of hate, they reprobates. Truth, he made us all, but us and you can't conflate. Both found in the ditch when the who tries to lead the blind. To be upright, man, perfect the laws and be divine. Take me through that fire, a new mind to be refined. Even if that light, the light hit gold, we still gon' shine. We still gon', yeah. You got that title that don't make you a good leader. You think your followers be gassing you, that's ether. He's pimping past the McIntyre congregation's Reba. Yeah, I see it. The wicked prosper, don't get caught up with the allure. A constant thought is one, our nation gon' get restored. Search for the answers, keep the laws at the end. Endure. Yeah, endure. All the advices in the book, let the fool won't visit. And wisdom show herself the few and the most won't get it. A wise man said, is this for sure or are you committed? Yeah. I'm in this, I'm putting bricks in for myself, you make your decision The map is laid, I took the step, you trust your improvisions I must have seen the faith, now watch it grow up through the ceiling And the most high, he order all the steps I take Time may get weary, but I gotta keep the pace The clock is ticking, day of the Lord ain't gon' wait I will, yeah, I will walk the water for your grace To the Almighty, in the bosom of Yahweh, pray the Lord hide me. I've been tried in the fire, they could never try me. Illuminati on my mind, soul, and my body. 
they could never have it. I'm a different breed. I killed the old man years ago. It was him or me. Made it out the fast life. Now I'm on a different speed. I should have died years ago. Yeah, how was shy? He in a seat. The Lord intercepted all my imperfections. Went from yokes around my neck, the diamonds on my necklace. Went from breaking the Shabbat, now I'm breaking fast. Next year's paper planes, but this year's paper tags. All praises to the Father, man, I hate the brag. But look how far he brought me, could have left me in my past. I finally know my purpose, now I'm safe at last. I killed all the snakes, but the Father helped me shave the grass. Yah is good, yes, Yah is great. Yah, Yah, Yah. He changed my life. And made a way yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna tell it everywhere I go yeah, yeah, yeah. He's so good to me He brought me out the Mari clay He cleaned me up and changed my name I survived just to write this rhyme I got brothers doing life from a life of crime Never learned to read or write Couldn't write a line But they could show you how to catch a body that you'll never find New Orleans in the 90s, it was that crazy That made me first generation of the crack babies Murder capital twice and they gon' keep it fatal Candy yam over the snub, they call it sweet potato Signed in the book of living, I don't need a label I had to cut some fake friends, even your people play you so you can miss me with your top five I made it out of conditions, only if you survive Couldn't walk in my shoes, need a suit or tie I ain't playing no games, I'm on that Zion time They say I like the Ruwak, how can you decide? But God is good, the devil lied, gotta choose a side God is good, yes, yeah is great yeah, 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 yeah. He changed my life and made a way yeah, 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 yeah. I'm gonna tell it everywhere You passed me down the law, mindset of elitist I took a blood oath and problems like kids, they keep it So we celebrate the Passover, kill the firstborn You play the land of Egypt, no mercy was shown For agriculture, finance, the system was torn When you drown them in the sea and left their city in Morning, now I'm mourning, and want the semblance of a sign No, we blind, Messiah puts fitted clay in my eyes End times, they wondering which way is the God, so we die Not knowing his always way to the light, which is Christ So I fight different steps Stereotypes, parasites. My life ain't worth a pair of nights. Real life, they think it's all a joke. Harlem nights in sight. They hate us cause we the Israelites. Cause if they only knew that we the true Jews. But if they only knew that we the true Jews. If they only knew that we the true Jews. But if they only knew that we the true Jews. Can't shake hands with you. I make grand justice. Came with the same spirit as my ancient ancestors. We were puking in the gate. Ain't span now, nigga. They looking for a sign. Like when Christ transfigured, but prophecy is the sign.
mind, which reminds we as children. Cause even Moses time still describe how we living. We stricken with the curse and got the body of Egypt. I'm lifting up her skirt and exposing these soul secrets. Cause they whitewash history, distorted the pericope. Troy Doc and grow and see the love between you and me. Put us at the low and then rewarded all lunacy. Wicked of the earth and if not, then who it be? Damn, I need a moment, just let me grieve. Nigga spirits about freedom, they'll never see. Damn, I need a moment, just let me grieve. Gosh, we won't speak twice, man. Don't perceive. Rock star, trap star, hood stars, and black stars. You wish conglomerates make it bang off of our scars. Battle Walker, Lee Parker, Thomas Marshall, George Carver, Jew wish conglomerates make it bang off of our smarts. All we see is pain, my people see the same. They locked us down in chains, we just praying for a change. They knocked us off the throne and stripped the earth of our names. My heritage, I claim, I just pray they do the same. Cause if they only knew that we the true Jews, if but knew. if they only knew that we the true Jews, if they only knew that we the true Jews, but if they only knew that we the true Jews, yeah, we the true Shalom, I'm Sister Mayan, um, a student ambassador for the Spiritual Midwifery program. Spiritual Midwifery has changed my perspective in a positive way when it comes to birth work. It has made me confident that I'm taking on the role that the Most High has chosen me for. I feel as though it has prevented me with the right tools to better serve my current clients as a doula and future clients as a midwife. What makes spiritual midwifery stand out more than other trainings and programs is that it's much more personable. Just being able to learn with and learn from sisters that are like-minded brings out a level of closeness and spirituality that cannot be achieved by anything not ordained by the Most High. I can definitely feel his presence every time class meets. I would definitely recommend the program to other Hebrew women pursuing midwifery. It's such a joy to learn from another Hebrew sister and also have a community of sisters to learn with that face the same daily struggles that we face in life. Shalom, shalom, shalom family. First and foremost, I have to give all praises, all glory, and all honor to the Most High God, Yahweh. Of course, I do so in the name of his only begotten son, Yahawashai, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. It's your brother, Ariala of Sakari, and I am excited to present to you, the nation of Israel, the official Hebrew Israelite Bible. Now, this has been the culmination of four long years of hard work, and it is available for purchase at HIB Official Zion. Dot com. Get yours today. Welcome to Pillars of Rest, where you can find special material for our sisters by our sisters. This is a Sons of Thunder exclusive platform focused on building, encouraging, uplifting, and engaging with the daughters of Zion. Here you'll find personalized and interactive content geared towards showing what it truly means to be a pillar of rest. Interviews, scripture breakdowns, tips on motherhood, marriage, and testimonials are just the beginning of the many things to learn from and enjoy in this program. Welcome to the Truth of Yah. The Truth of Yah's board game's mission is to humble the world in the Truth of Yah. The Truth of Yah's board game's vision is to build up the poor man and woman in spirit. Many people are deceived by lies, deceit, fraud, pride, forward mouth, arrogance, and evil ways. The poor in spirit are attacked daily. The vision to build up the spirit it's to cause people only to walk in the ways of Yahweh, just as his son Yahweh Shai and the prophets did, by not just speaking the word, but by putting every word Yahweh spoke into action. Into action. We're the sons of thunder Israelites, and it's our heart's prayer and desire that you all get the truth of Yah game. Use our discount code SOT for additional savings. Shalom. Shalom. All right, let's, let's play, man. Let's, let's get, get it, it, man. Let's get it going, man. Shalom. 
Yeah, how about you, Shah Barker Thames? Shalom, how about you, Shah Barker Thames? I mean, Shalom. Shalom. Shalom, Shalom. 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 Hey. hey, welcome to C4N. All right, conversation for the nation. All right. Hey, uh, we got a uh, a nice topic of discussion tonight, okay? All right, we're going to get into that here in a minute, okay? You know, first we want to give all glory and honor to Yahweh Bahashem. Yeah. Yeah. All right, we do all things through Christ. All right, hey, give me that scripture, man. Give me Colossians chapter 3 and verse 17, and somebody else give me Romans chapter 10, okay? And start from the top, okay? We're going to do all yeah. things through the Hamashiach, Yahweh Shai. There's a reason for it. Go ahead. This is the book of Colossians, chapter 3 and verse 17, and it reads, And whatsoever ye do in word or deed, do all in the name of the Lord, Yahweh Shai, giving thanks to Yahweh and the Father by him. All right. So whatever we do, okay, we have to do it, all right, through Christ, all right? Everything, all right? It has to go through Christ first, all right, because he is our mediator, all right? Even when you pray. You have to acknowledge the son in order to get to the father. The most high gave us an order. Okay. And you find that order in the book of first Corinthians chapter 11 and verse. Even Christ has a head. Okay. Christ's head is his father. All right. And that is the omnipotent power that we call Yahweh. Khan. Khan. Right. So we got to stay in order. All right. All praise to the most high. Give me that Romans chapter 10. Okay, in verse one, this is how sons of thunder move. All right, give me that. Come on, this is the book of Romans, chapter 10, and verse one. Brethren, my heart's desire and prayer to Yahweh for Israel is that they might be saved. It is our whole prayer and desire that the nation of Israel be saved. Okay, we know right, that Israel will be saved because that's that's prophecy. Okay, we know it. Okay, but we're going to continue to do his will. All right, and carry it out. That way, it can happen. All right, we we are we are pawns in the game. Okay, this is the most highs. This is the most highs creation. Okay, we're all playing our role in it. So, in order for that prophecy to come to pass, we have to play our role. Con, prayer and desire that the nation of Israel be saved. Con, yeah. all right. Hey, one of you brothers, go ahead and shout out. All right, the members in the chat. Hey, we hey, we had a new member too, man, at the beginning. As a brother, okay. If you don't mind coming in the chat there, brother, all right, and acknowledging yourself, hey, Salakia, or uh, just uh, saying your name in the chat. We have a new member come aboard, okay. I forget the brother's name. Hey, but go ahead and shout him out, one of you brothers. Kind of the one. Uh, our new brother to the uh class, uh, his name is Faceless Seven King. Right, Shalom, Khan. brother. Thank you. Brother. Welcome. Shalom. Welcome. All right. We're going on to the members. Miss Samaria Yasha Allah. Shalom. Shalom, Princess. Shalom. The Roth Jamar. Shalom. We got the Shalom. elder in the building. Shalom. 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 Captain Yara All. Shalom. Shalom, Shalom. Shalom. Uh, Shalom. Asaya House of Nakwashah. Shalom. Shalom. The Ark James in the building, Shalom. Uh, my Ark soldier, uh, Yotham, Shalom, Ark. Shalom, 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 brother. Shalom. Shalom. Did I call her already, Asaya. Yeah, I called her. Uh, we got uh, the Adawan Kawal, Shalom, Adawan. Shalom, Adawan. Abayanim, Abayanim, Yasha Allah, Shalom. Dude working, Shalom. Shalom. Uh, Warrior Michael Allah on the screen and in the chat. Shalom, Marwan. Shalom. All right. Soldier Kazak, Amit. Shalom. 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 So we got what we got in here. Yapa Aparium. Shalom. 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 Who else we got out of one? Uh, the King Malak. Yeah, what's up? Shalom, Marwan. Shalom, yeah, what's up? Shalom. Who else we got? Uh, and John Allen, Shalom. Shalom, Shalom. Mm. Hey, that, that list is continuing to get longer. All praises to the Most High. Uh, kind of one. 
Hashiach Yahweh Shai. All right. Hey, brothers and sisters. Okay. And we, we pray uh, that we're edifying the people. Okay. And uh, we pray, you know, that we play some part in brothers getting the kingdom. And sisters. All right, Con. We don't want to omit our sisters. All right. But hey, hey, you saw the title. Okay. You saw the title of a lesson. All right. The title of a lesson. All right. Negroes can't be anti Semitic. Oh. Awesome. Okay. That's that, that, that's impossible. All right. See, 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 but think get get Daniel chapter 7 and verse 25 real quick. Okay. Give me Daniel 7 and 25. See, we got some some devils that's in power right now. Okay. Before we get that, get me second edges chapter six. Okay. Give me second second edges chapter six. Okay, and I want to start at verse. I want to say verse five. Oh, no, no, no. This is the book of Second Edges, chapter six, and verse five. Uh -huh. And ere the present years were sought out, and or ever the inventions of them that now sin were turned, before they were sealed, that have gathered faith. For a treasure. Read on. Then did I consider these things, and they all were made through me alone, and through none other. By me also they shall be ended, and by none other. Hey, that's the most high talk. All right. Uh -huh. By him all things are made. All right. In general. Con, read on. Then answered I and said, what shall be the parting asunder of the times? All right. So, or when so and you got and you got Ezra asking the question. Okay. And Ezra say, Hey, all right, hey, I hear you. Okay, he's talking to the angel of the Lord. All right. You know, when is gonna be the last days? Okay. When is this thing gonna doggone wrap up? Read on. Or when shall be the end of the first? And when shall be the end of what? Of the first. Of the first. All right. So remember, right now, we're in the first world. Okay. We're in the first kingdom. All right. We understand when we go into the book of Genesis chapter 25, okay, we get the main idea of the entire Bible. Okay. You know, the Christians will tell you that the main idea came in John 3 and 16. All right, but that's false. Okay, yeah. the main idea of the Bible was found in Genesis chapter 25 when we get the two youngest nations, all right, which is Jacob and Esau. Right, uh. and it tells you, matter of fact, let's go there real quick. We're not gonna hold the people all night today, so let's get there real quick. Okay, let's go there real quick and prove that point. Okay, let's prove that point. I want you to hold what you got. Uh, Yazabad and Sunday. Okay, let's get that real. Let's prove what we're saying. Read that real quick. Genesis 25. Come. Go to um, 20, 23. Go to 22 or 23. Come. This is the book of Genesis, chapter 25 and verse 23. And it reads And the Lord said unto her, Two nations are in thy womb, and two manner of people shall be separated from thy bowels. Read. And the one people shall be stronger than the other people. Uh-huh. And the elder shall serve the younger. And the what? And the elder shall serve the younger. And the elder shall serve the younger. Okay, so these two nations right here would be the last nations created. Okay. And we see Jacob and Esau come about. Now, if we fast forward to the book of Genesis chapter 27, and you start reading the blessings that they inherit, okay? They get the same blessings, family, okay? Slightly different, okay? But the beginning of the blessings is rulership. Isaac, before he dies, gives these brothers rulership on the earth. And since Esau is the oldest, he reigns first. 
And that is the first world that we are in right now. Yeah, uh, Yazabad, go back to that last verse and read it again. No, another one. Then answered I and said, what shall be the parting asunder of the times? Or when shall the uh, when shall be the end of the first? Uh huh. And the beginning of it that followeth. And the beginning of it that follows. That's going to be the second world. Read on. And he said unto me, from Abraham to Isaac, when Jacob and Esau were born of him, Jacob's hand held first the heel of Esau. We just read that. Read on. For Esau is the end of the world, and so Jacob Esau, is the beginning. So Esau is the end of this world that we're in right now. All right? So guess what, you damn devil? All right? Your end is near. Okay? Right. You have an end. Hey, the scriptures tell you that they believe that their houses are going to last forever. Womp, womp, womp. OK, it's not happening. OK, because what the next part say, King? For Esau is the end of the world and Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth. And Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth. OK, but see, the difference between Jacob's kingdom and Esau's kingdom is that Christ is going to rule. All right. At the head of our kingdom. And it's going to last for ever come uh. all right that's the difference okay so the thing about jacob though okay let me let me go ahead and let me pull something up real quick i want to give y'all a little illustration the thing about jacob jacob and, and esau do have some similarities okay i want to go ahead and i want to share my screen okay there are few. The similarities are few. Okay. Don't get yourself hyped up there, uh, Esau. Okay. The similarities are few. All right. But some of the things are similar. Let's um let me pull this up real quick, family. I drop some stuff in here. And this is what I want to share with the people. Okay. All right, if you look at the screen, can y'all see that yet? Let me know if y'all can see what's on the screen. No, uh, not yet, I don't want. All right, give it a second. I'm sharing the screen, it's not showing? No, oh, that's not cool. Just a second, hey, let me try to pull it up again. I don't wanna, right, let me stop sharing. Let me try it again, okay? I don't know. Just a second. Bear with me, family. All right, we share it. All right, now it should definitely show now because I'm seeing it there. All right, can the people see now? All right. Uh, All right. All right. Well. We see here, okay, at the top of this, it's a little blurry on my end, okay? We see Shem, okay? We see Shem. That's where you get the term uh, anti-Semitic, okay? It really would be anti-Shemitic, okay? Because you're talking about a Shemite people, okay? They pronounce it Semite, all right? So we're talking about the lineage of Shem, all right? And one of the things that Jacob and Esau have in common. As, as you look down, you'll see Shem, you see Artifact, you see Salah, and then you see Eber, okay? So the Hebrews come from Eber, okay? The Hebrews come from Eber, and guess what? Esau and Jacob are both Hebrews, okay? There's a lot of people who are Hebrews, okay? One thing about the um, the original uh, Hebraic people, we were all dark skinned except Esau. When Esau came on the scene in Genesis chapter 25, it described him. It described him being a red complexion, okay, and being hairy all over. That was the first time 
okay, that we had seen something like that. And, and that's the thing about it. Esau's name explains that. It means wasted away, okay? Isaac called him Esau, which means wasted away. Solomon said, this guy ain't got no melanin, okay? He's, he, he's just flushed out, all right? So we both come from Eber, from the line of Shem, all right? So when we use the term, let me pull this down. This real quick. I just wanted to show y'all that real quick. When we use the term anti-Semitic, okay, you cannot be anti-Semitic if you come from the lineage of Shem. Okay? Oh. That's impossible. Okay? That is impossible. If you could not, now look, they've taken these terms. OK, they've taken these terms and they've manipulated the definitions. If if, if you go into now, I'm going to I'm going to show you the definition of uh, of anti-Semitic. Right. But there's also some more out here. All right. What what a lot of people try to do is they'll try to tell you that anti-Semitic or to be Semitic or to be from the Shemite people, it derives from the language that you speak, okay? This is the trickery that they try to play on the words, but we know that Shem, all right, comes from the lineage of Abraham, Salafia. He comes from, all right, the lineage of the Hebraic people. Con? Oh, con. All right, Abraham would come from that lineage, understand? So let me read this real quick. This thing wants to take all day on me, people. All right. All right, y'all see that? Okay, let me get in uh -huh. here. Let's get these definitions real quick, okay? All right, so we see anti-Semitism, okay? It's a noun. It says hostility to or prejudice against Jewish people. Now, hold on for a minute, all right? I went to school a long time ago, okay? Long time ago, all right? And when I look at this word Jewish, I see the I-S-H on the tail end of this word, okay? And I-S-H, I -S -H, on the tail end of any word means kind of like, okay? It's not the real thing, it's kind of like, all right? This is why the so-called Jewish people in the land today call themselves Israeli, which are occupants of the land, okay? These people are not the real Jews, okay? But through our extensive studies, all right? Through the scriptures, archaeological evidence and history, we found that the so-called black man who've come to the Americas via Atlantic slave trade, all right, the Hispanic man of Negro and Indian descent and the Native American man are the true Israelites. We got the artifacts to prove it. Okay? All right? History tells us that. We fit the curses that are laid out in the book of Deuteronomy 28 and the book of Deuteronomy of Salafia, Leviticus chapter 26. Okay? All right? So once again, anti-Semitism, okay, is hostility toward to or prejudice against Jewish people. All right? But the people they call Jewish are the people in the land of Israel today. That doesn't make any sense because there are many people, all right, who are of the Shemite lineage, the Elamites, all right, the East Indian today, they would be Shemite, okay? So would the Moabites, okay? The Moabites and the, um, the Amorites, all right? Esau, okay, the, K the, the, the Khazars, okay? These people are not the only people, okay? These converts to carry on a Shemite lineage. And some of them okay. don't even 
for who they are. Some of them are Arab, okay? They would come from um, Ishmael's lineage. Khan? Khan. Uh, All right? So it doesn't make sense. The term anti-Semite or an anti-Semitism doesn't make any sense at all. All right, this is simple. What I'm explaining is simple. Okay, it's not hard. Go into the book of Genesis chapter 10, okay, and start mm -hmm. looking at the lineage, okay, mm -hmm. of Shem, and it's going to tell you exactly what I'm explaining. You've been lied to, you've been hoodwinked, you've been bamboozled, all right, so that the people that are in power today, which is Esau, can carry his lineage forward. As long as he keeps you sleep, we've showed you time. After time, we've gone to Judah chapter 5. Give me the book of uh, Psalms chapter 83. We showed you Psalms chapter 83. We've showed you that the Israelites line up to the curses. We showed you all these things. But yet, you still want to believe, all right, your enemy, which is asinine. Okay? Give me that scripture. This is the book of Psalms chapter 83. In verse one, uh huh, and it reads, "Keep not thy silence, O God." Right. Hold not thy peace, and be not still, O God. Right. For lo, thine enemies make a tumult. Now remember, the scriptures say, "Thy enemies make a tumult." Thy enemies are making a distraction. Okay, a tumult would be like a riot. Okay, a distraction. Your enemies are doing that, right? Read on. And they that hate thee have lifted up the head. They have taken crafty counsel against thy people. They that hate you have lifted their head up in pride and they've taken crafty counsel against our people. All right. They've taken crafty counsel, very sneaky, crafty counsel against our people. All right. And why do I say that? All right. Why do I say that they've taken crafty counsel against our people? All right. Let's look at something real quick. I want you to hold that scripture, young king. All right. Why do I say that? All right. Look at this. They've taken crafty counsel against our people. Read. Con and consulted against thy hidden ones. Uh huh. They have said, come and let us cut them off from being a nation. Right that the name of Israel be no more in remembrance. So that the name of Israel can be no more in remembrance. Now give me Jeremiah 17 and 4 and watch this, family. When I say Chinese, I want you to scream out the, na the nation that's associated with this. For example, if I say Chinese, you gotta say what? China. All right, let's say it with authority. When I say Chinese, you say what? China. All right, that's just a, a test right there. So here we go. Chinese. Russian, Russian, Italian, Italy, German, German, Swedish, Swedish Korean, Korean, Egyptian, Egypt, Nigerian, Nigerian, Black. Tell them, Pastor. Tell them, Pastor. Black, nothing. I hope you were able to successfully identify the issue all right okay now hey, we played that one time before okay now if you were paying attention you notice all right that the speaker he said what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna name off all right a people a nationality of people and you're gonna name the country that they come from all right okay so we bring he ended up bringing out these names okay of these people and, and they were aligned in the countries. But when he said black, there was nowhere to go. There was no nation to go to. Give me Jeremiah 17 and four. Book of Jeremiah chapter 17, verse four. Uh -huh. And thou even thyself shall discontinue from thy inheritance. All right, the scripture, Jeremiah is telling you, okay, that the Most High said that he and his people are going to discontinue from their heritage. Read. That I gave thee. 
that what? And I will cause thee to serve thine enemies. And he's going to do what? Serve thine enemies. Uh-huh. In the land which thou knowest not. For ye have killed little fire in mine anger, uh -huh. which shall burn forever. Ah, uh, okay. I'm going to cause you to be discontinued from your heritage. You're not going to have a heritage. You ain't going to have no army. All right. You are going to have the name of your oppressor. All right. That's going to be your name. You're going to have this doggone big doggone group of nations that come together called the United Nations. And you ain't going to have no seat at it. Your oppressor is going to sit at the seat for you. Okay. Now, as far as I'm concerned, that curse right there does not fit the Jewish people. By a long shot, it doesn't. Let's go to Deuteronomy 28 real quick. By a long shot, it does not. Womp, womp, womp. You done, you done struck out. Okay? This does not fit you. All right? Give me Deuteronomy chapter 28. Okay? And I want you to start at verse uh, 45. Turn another one. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, and verse 45. Moreover, all these curses shall come upon thee and shall pursue thee and overtake thee till thou be destroyed. All right. These curses are going to come upon you and pursue you and overtake you until you be destroyed. You're going to be destroyed mentally and physically, okay? You're not going to know who you are. You have no power. Read. Because thou hearkenest not unto the voice of the Lord thy God because to keep his commandments. So like you had one. Because what? Because thou hast hearkened is not unto the Lord. So like unto the voice of the Lord thy God. To keep his commandments. Okay. So because you didn't listen to the most high, these curses fell upon you. All right. Now, hey, I want you to read verse 40, verse, verse 46. Read verse 46. Come on, one. Verse 46. And they shall be upon thee for a sign and for a wonder and upon thy seed forever. How long? Forever. All right. Now, the curses are going to be upon all right, the children of Israel, the disobedient children that the Most High chose forever. But the curses are going to be upon them for a sign. All right. Now, the sign comes from the scriptures. OK, we're reading them. All right. They're listed. The curses are listed right here. Deuteronomy 28. Go to Leviticus chapter 26. Read those curses. There's some more curses found throughout the scriptures. All right. But read these. And you're going to find out who the children of Israel are, because the curses are upon them forever. Now, when we look at the so-called Jewish man, he's sitting in a high place, all right? He owns everything, okay? All the sports teams, all right? The Diamond District, okay? He's all in your music, all right? The music that you bump in your head to, that nasty, okay, filth, that they've corrupted to keep us in the lower state. All right. They control it. We just read that they, all right, have doggone set. They've come together. All right. Go back to um, uh, Psalms 83. Go back to Psalms 83 real quick. Okay. And then I'm going to play the next video. I'm going to show you how devilish these devils are. Okay. Psalms 83. All right, this is the book of Psalm. This is the book of Psalms, chapter 83, and verse 4. They have said, Come and let us cut them off from being a nation, that the name of Israel may be no more in remembrance. That the name of Israel will mean no more in remembrance, read. For they have consulted together with one consent. Now they've consulted together with one consent. Read on. They are confederate against thee. Are what? 
they are confederate against thee. They are confederate against us. All right. They have formed an alliance against us because the most high chose our nation out of the 18. They don't have a power. OK. That's the scriptures tell you that they have idol gods, but they're powerless. All right. We're the only one with the God of Abraham, Isaac and Jacob. And when I said we, OK, I'm not talking about no spiritual Israel. OK. I'm talking about the descendants of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. And on this side of the earth, where we are in the Americas, that is the so-called black man who came over here via Atlantic slave trade, okay? And a Hispanic and Native American man of Negro and Indian descent. All right? Read. Yeah. Con one. For they have consulted together with one consent. They are confederate against thee. The tabernacles of Edom. The tabernacles of who? Of Edom. That's our chief enemy. Remember, him and Jacob were fighting in the womb. That's our chief enemy. When you go into the book of Obadiah, okay, it tells you, okay, that they are the chief ambassador among the heathen. Okay? This is our chief enemy here. Okay? And the Jewish man, okay, is a part of this lineage. Read. And the Ishmaelites. Scared of you devils? We ain't scared of you devils. You want to know why? Because the Most High told me that as long as I keep his law, statutes, and commandments, he will defend me. We ain't scared of you devils. And we know you no. devils ain't going to do nothing, okay? It's going to take him to harden your heart in order that dog going to come against us. You know better because the scriptures tell you better. Read. Of Moab. And That's the, the Hagarines. Read on. And the Hagarines. And the Hagarines, African man. Gabal. All right. African man. Hey, a list. It, it goes on the list. All right. Your enemies right there. Con. Yeah. Right. And this is what we got to understand here. Okay. Your enemy is not going to tell you the truth. He's not going to tell you the truth. He uses smooth words in order to manipulate us, okay? And we got to be ahead of the game, family. We got to be ahead of the game. Now, what, what inspired me to, 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 to do this lesson, I was, I was going through, I was watching old Candace. Right? When, I get it, when I get a chance, you know what I mean, I try to catch up on news, and, you know what I mean? I look at a few, you know, camp videos and certain po podcasts that's relevant, okay? And I... Uh, I came across old Candace, okay? Candace Owens. All right. Now I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna play all right this video real real quick. And I want you to see the deceivery of these okay. devils. Okay, and you brothers make sure you get precepts, okay? All right, to slice this thing up. All right. Okay. All right, let's see what's going on here. All right, Candace Owens, she's talking to a uh so-called Jewish rabbi all right this guy has, on uh, charlie kirk's show okay so this jewish rabbi i think his name is uh mark barclay uh he and several other um jewish rabbis have been attacking candace okay based off some 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 things that they consider to be anti-semitic that's right king all right fair use y'all make sure y'all Hit me up with that that love, that fair use hashtag, okay? And we'll go ahead and make sure we cover ourselves, okay? All right, so you got a few Jewish rabbis going at Candace because some of her comments, they consider to be anti-Semitic, okay? But when we look at Candace and we look at who her father is, Candace Owens would be considered to be an Israelite. So when you throw that anti-Semitic term at her, it doesn't stick. You're ignorant, okay? And you're the damn devil that the Bible speaks of. It doesn't even make sense. She can't be anti-Semitic. You're anti-Semitic, you damn devil, mm. okay? All right? You're anti-Semitic with your rhetoric, all right? So I want you all to pay attention, all right, to, to this discussion. You're going you're gonna to hear a lot of deceivery, okay? 
We don't agree with everything Sister Candace has to say. All right, Candace married a dog on an Edomite, okay? At least that's what we, we, we believe he is, okay? All right? She's got some flaws, okay? But she's still our sister, all right? So, hey, let's, let's, let's see what's going on here. And you refer to me as anti-Semitic. Is that correct? Okay. Uh, no, uh, not only that, Candace, I've actually written a couple of articles, one in November and one last week, uh, about your anti-Semitism. Yeah. Correct. Um, and referring to that article that you wrote last week, published on March 9th, it, the heading reads, Let's be honest, Candace Owens is a Jew-hating bigot. So that's very punchy, very strong language. And I want to actually go through this article point by point so that you can defend your position and say and why Candace, you wrote Candace, this? Candace, I think before that, and as I said, I'm very optimistic that you would have a dialogue about something. I think before that, there are some, some real steps, which is, I have called you, and I'm not alone in this, many Jews have called you an anti-Semite. Mm -hmm. I've also talked to people who say you have a really sweet heart, just so you know. And you and I have a number of mutual friends. Uh, in the world. But I think it's important to first identify what anti-Semitism is. It is a different type of hate than any other type of hate in the world. And if you and I are speaking crossways because we have a different understanding and definition, yeah, that's not going to lead to any dialogue. That's not going to lead. Look, I, I said to Scott, I'd love to walk out of here and say, you know what? I was wrong and write an article. I apologize and I was wrong. I notice how Hey, Candace, Candace begin, all right, to, to lay out the position of the discussion. And the devil takes over, all right? Hey, this devil know she married to an Edomite, too, okay? So he's going to use, all right, his Edomitic doggone swag, all right, to try to dominate Candace, okay? All right? Yeah. And, and he ain't talking about nothing, Okay. Y'all think the doggone Muslim brother, if y'all if y'all didn't catch that uh that uh live, y'all think the Muslim brother in that live we were talking to ain't talking about nothing. Okay, this this devil right here really ain't talking about nothing. I mean illiterate. Pay attention. But the first piece is to have a mutual and understanding of what is anti-Semitism. I think that would help a tremendous amount. Would I actually so what is anti-Semitism? Watch this. I totally agree with you on that. That is a perfect place to start. Could you okay, provide so for us a definition of anti-Semitism? I, I, absolutely. I really appreciate that because I think that is the break. If we're not speaking the same language, where can we go, mm -hmm. right? So there's a man, um, a blessed memory man named Lord Jonathan uh, Sachs. He was the chief rabbi of England. He had a great line. He really defined anti-Semitism, uh, that, that anti-Semitism is Jews have no right to exist collectively as Jews with the same rights as other human beings. It's kind of a weird statement. So let's just track back a bit to understand the history of anti-Semitism. 2,000 years ago, Jews don't accept Jesus as Messiah. For people who do. Now, okay. Now, hey, I know a fast talker. Okay. I know a fast talker when I, when I, when I see one. Okay. All right. Now, notice he, he throws some Christianity in there. All right. He yep. said the Jews didn't accept Christ. All right. Now that's false. OK, that's false. We understand that many of the leadership of Israel. Right. Meaning all right, the, the scribes and the Pharisees had a problem with the Messiah. Give me the book of Acts chapter 21 and verse 20 real quick. Okay, and let's prove this devil to be a liar. Okay, no, no, no. give me Acts 21 and 20. No, 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 no I'm there. Read this is the book of Acts, chapter 21 and verse 20. Uh -huh. And when they heard it, they glorified the Lord and said unto him, Thou seest, brother, how many thousands of Jews there are which believe. <laughs> and, what did the scripture say, King? It said, Thou seest, brother, how many thousands of Jews there are which believe. Uh, how many thousands, all right, of Jews there are which believe. Does that sound like, all right, that the Jews did not 
believe on Christ. Uh oh. So he's a liar. And he's no. not studying. He's 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 got the title of rabbi. He got the title of rabbi. Rabbi is a teacher, man. Right? He sits in a high seat of the government of Israel. He's a damn liar. All right. Read on. Hey, read on real quick. Turn on one. And they are all zealous of the law. And they are what? And they are all zealous of the law. Read. And they are informed of thee that thou teachest all the Jews which are among the Gentiles Stop. to forsake. Stop. Stop. Okay. First of all, all right, these believers of believers of Christ also understood that they had to keep the law. All right. That's the same thing that brothers is teaching you today. Then the scripture goes on to tell you, all right, that thou teachest all the Jews which are among the Gentiles. That's who Paul was teaching. That's who Paul was teaching. He was teaching the Jews who are among the Gentiles. There's so many cuts in this scripture right here, okay? Right. Right. It's a little contradictory. We're not talking about how Paul, how, how they believe that, that Paul was teaching the people that they were to forsake Moses' law. Okay. That's what it says there. But there's so many cuts in the scripture. Okay. But the point I wanted to go to is the fact that he said that the Jews did not believe on Christ. One more. Give me Acts 4 and 4, and then we'll continue on with the video. Let's prove this devil to be the liar that he is. These devils come out of the womb speaking lies, man. That's what the scriptures say. So we're going to go ahead and reveal these devils as the man of perdition. That's what we're going to do. Okay? Sending all your money over there to these doggone Jewish doggone synagogues and over there to the land like a damn fool. All right? This is the devil right here. All right? Read. This is the book of Acts, chapter 4, verse 4. How be it, many of them which heard the word believed, and the number of the men was about 5,000. <laughs> you just, and you can't get around it, man. Okay. Uh, so many uh, of the Jews believe, and the number was about 5,000. That don't sound like the Jews did not believe on Christ to me. So he's a damn liar. Let's go ahead and continue. Oh. What I has to say. Do not have faith as the early Christians, as some of them have faith. Some of them accept Jesus, but they don't really in their heart. And you and I know both know people like Rob McCoy who accepts it fully in their heart, and other people who are doing it without faith. And they're, they, they're, those who have less faith, the fact that a Jew exists, let alone thrives, mm. is a threat to their faith. Because how can the Jew not? accept Jesus as God and still thrive unless he's associated with the devil. So you start having these, these myths that are created of the Jew being identified with the opposite of God. This really codified. Hey, I think it was Yotham that posted it, man. Somebody posted. I'm still waiting for that definition. He, he's supposed to be given the definition of anti-Semitism. That's that what he's supposed to be doing. And he, he done spun off to talking about oh. anti-Semitism. What the hell going on here? I have 1144 in Norwich, England, what's called the blood libel. And this is really important to understand, especially today in 2024. In 1144, a young boy is killed, and the local priest says that's because the Jews need to make their matzah with Christian blood. It's called the blood libel. It's blame, blame the problems of other people on the Jew. It's just so you know, that's that's so ridiculous, not only just on its face, but we're forbidden from even having meat that has any blood in it. This is a Torah law. You can't have, that's why, you know, we, we can't have steak tartar. Okay. So this gets perpetuated in combination with a fourth century, that what's called the Vulgate. I'm sorry. Did you say uh, 11, in 1140 this happened? 1144 in Norwich, England. Okay. okay? This is after in the fourth century, you have something called the Vulgate. The Vulgate is the official translation of the Bible. In Hebrew, there's no vowels. And, it, and 
the person who translates Saint Jerome, who translates the Vulgate, knows what he's doing is translating wrong. He puts down that when Moses comes down from Mount Sinai, he has horns. Okay, Karen. When actually the word was Karan, meaning that light shone from his head. So now by 1144, you have the anti-Semitic myth of Jews have horns and they drink blood. And I know people who've been asked when they went into the army and other places, can I see your horns? So this still exists today in 2024 throughout America. So the devil, okay, is trying to create a premise that anti-Semitism derived from when Moses went up Mount Sinai and came down, a myth was created that he came down with horns on his head and it offended the Jews. That's his definition, people. All right. That's his definition. Look at this retard. Say again, he's, he's going to he's going to change the definition as we go through this this. He, he's going to change it. Con, That's what they do. Is, is it, it? It suits them. They they want they 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 want to say somebody hates them, so they'll they'll change the definition as they go. So they're the wicked. And and I got a um, I got that precept you were talking about is in Psalm fifty eight, verse three. The wicked are estranged from the. From the womb, they go astray as soon as they be born, speaking lies. That's right. So that's what he's doing. He he's changing it as he goes, and he's lying all the way. Good. That's right. I, that's right. Hey, so like you had one. Hey, go that's ahead. the only. That's the only curse they want. They want to fit. You know, as long as you, they they can feel like the world hate them. They the Jews. You know, that's the only <laughs> thing they got to prove. Right. I don't mean just. Hey, hey, that's right there, King. Hey, I'm going to tell y'all something, though. There's some We're going to talk about it here soon. But there's some crafty counsel in there, too. Okay? When she gets to when she gets to that part, we'll, we'll, we'll talk about it. There's some crafty counsel in there, too, what the brother just spoke about. As long as they feel like they're being hated on, right, that agenda can persist. It's in little rural areas. It exists today, these myths. That Vulgate Bible is the official Catholic Bible all the way through the 1970s. So it is, you need to understand that that's a piece of it, okay, that, that, that they're equated with, with this kind of hate. In, because it's about Jews not having the right to exist collectively, when they live in their little communities in the Middle Ages, anti-Semitism is a hate against their religion. By the time you get to the 18th and 20th centuries, when so many Jews have assimilated, they are in culture, they are in arts, they're in science, it's no longer against them for their religion, it's against them for their race. This anti-Semitism is the oldest hate in the world and the hate that mutates. In 1948, because remember it says Lord Sachs- Oh, I just wanna pause it. You said it's a hate that mutates. Correct. So, your belief then is that the definition of anti-Semitism can necessarily change. Is that correct? It's not just my belief. It is the commonly accepted understanding in both the Jewish and academic worlds. Okay. This isn't, okay. As I said, that's why I quoted, this is a quote. It's a great thing from Lord Sachs, uh, you know, Jonathan Sachs. Hey, the educated sister, the educated sister has baffled Micah Allah. She can oh. find huh? <laughs> She, He's trying she to change goalposts, man. That, she looking at this devil like I, I thought you were educated. You 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 of high stature. You a rabbi, mm -hmm. and in the in the doo doo that's coming out your mouth, right? Okay. All right, it just ain't making no sense. Y'all 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 continue to watch, man. It's a great thing from Nile. Like this this is just accepted as the understanding of you know. Okay. Apologies, so I, I would just say off the bat, I do not accept that definitions can just mutate. That is something that I, mean, I could debate that on. Like the definition of a woman, I mean, and I'm saying not just about Jewish people, I think that we have to have a concrete definition to work with because then you can just update and say, actually, I've changed that and now this is what constitutes anti-Semitism. But Candace, that is the horror of anti-Semitism. So what you are saying to me is that anti-Semitism is this and does not change. What I am saying to you is 
that the entire world and scholars about anti-Semitism recognize that it is a unique hate. That if you define it as the, 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 that, that Jews should not be able to exist collectively, mm-hmm. okay, as a collective, they shouldn't have that right. Mm-hmm. That changes from the Middle Ages with religion, the 18th through 20th centuries about race, and then after Israel is created, it's a hatred based on the nation. And until that until that is understood, that 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 it is, this isn't something that's really questioned about among academics, theologians, Jewish scholars. I, I'm not presenting it. I, this is why I thought I'm so optimistic about a dialogue. But I think part of it is you view that the hate can't mutate. And what I'm trying to tell you is that we have two thousands of years of history that demonstrate the exact opposite. So, that and I, I'm, I'm going to just push back very just. Gently here. For me personally, if I thought that racism could just be an ever shifting uh, definition based on the experience of black people, it would be a remarkable power and I would be able to create something like BLM, which could say that everything was racist. So I am not going to be able to agree that definition should be able to transform according to what's happening during the day. But here's what I will say. If you could, just because I think it's really important um, for us to get to going through this article, because then you might be able to explain why you view it as anti-Semitism. If you could just give us what you are saying the current definition of anti-Semitism is today. Mm -hmm. Candace said, I don't want to hear all that hoopla, man. (laughs) Right, right. (laughs) About that history. She said it in an elegant way too, man. Right. Mm-hmm. Hey, hey, she said it without being rude. Hey, hey, dude, hey, cut the chase. What's the definition today? Mm-hmm. All right. You know, it, it, he, he's spewing a lot of rhetoric, man. Okay. Be- because they have to. Right. Because they have to. You know, it's just like, you know, when you're dealing with, you know, certain sects of uh, of, of doctrine on the streets, okay, or, or in, in, in a debate platform. You know, in order to make a person doctrines work, they have to add to the scriptures, okay? You know, and these devils do that all the time. They have to create a scenario, okay, or create something make-believe in order to make it work. She's not buying it. That would be very helpful. The current definition of anti-Semitism today has to do with what the feelings are. It has to do with anti-Zionism, number one. That is a definition. Anti-Zionism, anti-Israel is anti-Semitism. Okay. This is so you believe that Jewish people can be anti-Semitic? Absolutely. Okay. So, so when you see and, a and gathering of Jewish people who say, you know, I'm Jewish, but I don't support Israel or Bibi Netanyahu, you say that person's an- that person can be anti-Semitic. You just did two different things and was very. Uh, now he's starting to backtrack. <laughs> Confound it. <laughs> Confound it. Good. How, how, how can they, if, if you are a, a descendant of Shem, how can a, how can a Jew be anti-Semitic? It doesn't make sense. Right? Right. They, they try to hit you with the Zion. They try, try to hit you with the Zionist, okay, you know, movement, okay? And, and and that mess right there, that goes into, okay, you know, them coming back, okay, into that land, okay? But but when you look at the uh, the Palestinians, okay, the Palestinians also, you know, they also, you know, have, have um, took a part of that, you know, when it comes to Zionists, and they believe they, you know, uh, are supposed to be in that land as well, okay? All right? So that Zionist movement is kind of conflicted. Con? Mm-hmm. Uh, uh. All right, but but a hey, Candace is on it. How? How 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 can a Jewish person be anti-Semitic? I thought you were from the lineage of Shem. Do you even understand what the 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 the, the word Semite or Shemite means? Ait. All right, means son of, descendant of. That's what it means. Ait. That's why we are the Israelites, right? The uh-huh. descendants of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, right? right. Their name later got changed to Israel. 
That's mm -hmm. why we are the Israelites. Okay. But they know they're converts. This devil knows he's a convert. So he has to call himself an Israeli. Understand? And he has to come up with all of these doggone sub discussions in order to make it make sense. Okay. But God is not the author of confusion. Okay, give me that. Mm -hmm. Give me that. In the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 14 and verse 33. Okay, give me that. Oh, that's the book of 1st okay. oh, Go ahead. Go ahead, King. That's right, King. Book... Judah, taking notes for no reason. You're right, King. Oh, it's the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 14 and verse 33. And it reads, For God is not the author of confusion, but of peace, as in all churches of the saints. God is not the author of confusion. And you're supposed to be a teacher of God. Okay? All right? But we see nothing but confusion coming out of your mouth. All right? You and your people. You just did two things, two different things that were totally unrelated, Candace. Okay. You said that you said the Jews that do not support Israel. Yes. And the Jews that do not support Bibi Netanyahu. I'm just saying that because he's the current yeah. prime minister. So I'm saying like if they if they say no, they don't support. No, this is this is where you're missing the point. So okay. I'm going to go under the following premise. OK, mm -hmm. I'm going to go under the premise that you care about people. You and I don't know each other, but I'm going to go under that premise. I'm going to go under the premise that you have no desire to ever hurt anyone. Mm -hmm. OK, that's the premise I'm coming into this dialogue with. You have been devastatingly hurtful. And I, and, and I think that, that, that I'm going to go from that you don't understand what it means to the Jewish world. Mm -hmm. There's a great teaching that, that comes out of every sociologist, every person in, in academics, is that I don't get to tell a black man if he's experiencing racism. Mm -hmm. He knows. I don't get to tell you if you're experiencing misogyny. You know. If I make a comment and it's misogynistic, and you say, Rabbi, you know, that was really misogynistic. My job is to say, wow, I didn't mean that. I apologize. That's not what I meant. And you do you and do not get the right to say what is anti-Semitic or Jew hatred. So, OK, <laughs> you don't. Hey, look, let me tell you something. I can't tell a black man. OK. The, 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 the so-called rabbi said, I can't tell a black man what racism is, okay? And you can't tell a so-called Jewish man or woman what anti-Semitism is. We control that narrative. But that's ignorant, rabbi, because she is a Jew. OK, she is a Shemite, a Semite, if you uh, per se. So your 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 language, OK, your understanding, OK, your whole discussion is ignorant, OK, it's weightless and it stinks. OK, and you can go to hell with it. All right. OK. Hey, I got another clip. OK of the sister, you know, but I want the brothers to weigh in, okay, on this discussion as well, okay? You can't tell, you can't tell, <laughs> hey, you can't co tell a Jewish person what anti-Semitism is, okay? Just like he can't tell you what racism is. Wow. All right? How you feel about that there, Mike? Feel like I'm talking to a used car salesman. <laughs> He's trying hard to sell me on this, and I'm like, no, the tires are flat, they bald. What's with the engine? No, the engine's is good, it's brand new. No, right. man. It's a hard sell. It's a it's a hard yeah. sell. Okay, because it doesn't make any sense. Don't make no sense. It, it it doesn't make any sense. They've taken, look, these people have taken. All right. They've taken our heritage and claimed it as their own. OK. All right. And they and, and they're trying to this is their world. 
I won't, I, I won't deny it. This is their world. We screwed that up. Okay. We didn't keep his commandments. So Esau's reigning. All right. Mm -hmm. But the most high put you in a trick bag. Okay. Because you're too ignorant to study the book. Okay. You should be calling yourself something like the, you, you should just be the Edomites. You shouldn't be, you know, the Jewish man. You should just stand on your name. This is your kingdom. It don't matter. This is your kingdom. Okay. Why you, right why you got to take our heritage and your land? You run everything. It doesn't make any sense. Give me that in Revelation chapter 2 and 9. Okay. All right. No, 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 no. I got a precept whenever. Um, bring, bring your precept out, King. Okay, come. Um, this is the book of Psalms, chapter 55 and verse 21. Uh, the words of his mouth were smoother than butter, but war was in his heart. His words were softer than oil, yet were they drawn sore. So he might maybe trying to break it down in a in a smooth, make it sound like a simple way, and then all just at the end of it to say, I can't tell you um your experience of racism. Um, and you can't tell me um, I'm experiencing anti, you know, uh, anti-Semitism. You know, you're just some, you're just some black girl. What do you know about it? You right. know, yeah. you could be, you could be anything else. Jake could be anything else. Eve could be whatever she wants. You better not call yourself a Jew, right. you know, and that's the ultimate weapon that we was reading in uh, Psalms 83, you know, just another uh, online, you know, broadcast to, uh, to get Jake away from claiming who they really are. I are you? That's right. Okay. Hey, bring that out in Revelation chapter four nine. You're absolutely right, brother. It's nothing but a distraction. This book of Revelations chapter two and verse nine. I know thy works and tribulation and poverty. Right. But thou art rich. So the Most High knows our works. He knows our tribulation and poverty. But we're rich. Okay. We're rich because all right, we have the kingdom of heaven within us, okay? That's what you got to understand. If you're an Israelite, you have an opportunity to get the kingdom, okay? And you have an opportunity for the spirit of Christ to reign in you. Come? Come. Come. All right? We're rich. All right? All right? Read on, and we'll get your precept next there, okay? Read. And I know the blasphemy of them which say they are Jews and, I know and are what? not. I know what? They say they are Jews and are not. Right? But are the synagogue of Satan. The scripture says, I know the blasphemy of them which say they are Jews and are not, but are the synagogue of Satan. Christ knows who you are. He knows you were going to pose as an imposter. All right? He knows that. All right. The most I know we got to get you up out of our land. When you go into the book of Zechariah chapter nine and six, it tells you all right, that a bastard will dwell in Ashdod. It tells you that, man. Okay. That's in our land, west of Jerusalem. Okay. This is, it, it's asking now, all the facts point to we the Israelites and you're the imposter. Okay all the facts mm -hmm. all right but see they they're in power okay they've taken our book all right they enslaved us they've manipulated everything okay while we're enslaved now we're in their world okay but the most high is waking us up okay that's why he told ezekiel in the book of ezekiel chapter 37 okay to prophesy into these dry bones that's who we are so we can wake the hell up. And that's what's happening because you just, you can't stop it. If it be of the most high, give me that scripture. Okay. Give me that scripture. All right. If it be of the most high. Y'all know what I'm talking about? Uh, give me that scripture. All right. Uh, Acts 5 and 39. Give me that. On it on is the book of Acts, chapter 5, and verse 39. Uh -huh. And it reads, But if it be of God, ye cannot overthrow it. Uh -huh. Lest 
happily ye be found even to fight against God. That's right. Okay. If it be of the most high, you can't overthrow it. Okay. Unless you want to fight my power. Okay. Hmm. Your arm's too short. You can't box with him. Okay. You can't box with my father and you know it. Okay. And you know it. He going to have to harden your heart. Okay. Uh -huh. Come at us. You know it. You know we keeping these commandments. You still trying to throw pork in our food to throw us off. All right. But that don't matter. Okay. Throwing all kind of obstacles in our way on the dog on TV. Got our women half naked. Okay. Trying to throw us off. That's all you. You don't you, you done we we went. To, I told y'all to get Daniel 7 and 25, but I don't think we read it. Give me Daniel chapter 7. Okay, and get verse 18, I want to say. 725. No, 25. Give me Daniel 7 and 25. Okay. All praises to the most high. Baha Shima Mashiaki Hawashai. A parium. Okay. As a new member. A welcome, Princess. Welcome. Water. The water. All praises. Okay. Read that. Give me Daniel 7 and uh what's that? Uh 25? 25. Read that. It's the book of Daniel, chapter 7, verse 25. Uh huh. And he shall speak great words against the Most High. Right. And shall wear out the saints. Out the saints, the Most High. And think to change times and laws. And he thinks to change times and laws. He do not know what to know. We, hey, look, we work. We work, dog, on Monday. All right. Through dog on Saturday in this place. And Saturday is the most high Sabbath day. Some of us work Monday through Friday. Okay? That's a standard work schedule. All right. And that's done purposely. Because what 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 have they set up for us? They set the club up. They set the strip club up for us. Okay. All right. So that when we get off, we do all manner of wickedness. All right. My schedule, when I was wicked in the world, my schedule, I get up in the morning, I'm going to the barbershop on Saturday to get clean so I can go chase Eve, brother. I'm going to wash my car on Saturday. I'm going to do all my business because I couldn't do it throughout the week. That's how they doggone got it. It said, think to change times and laws and to wear out the saints. That's what they've done. Mm -hmm. uh. They got us in a box. This is their kingdom. Okay, but it's okay. It's okay. We're going to keep the commandments to the best of our ability and rehearse the righteous acts because thus saith the Lord. He's going to save us out of this place. All right, he's going to destroy you. Okay? okay. And uh. as long as we follow his law, statutes, and commandments, he's going to fight for us. All right? That's one of my favorite scriptures. Give me that in Joshua chapter 1 and verse 9. All right? Give me Joshua 1 and 9. Another one. This is the book of Joshua, chapter 1 and verse 9. Uh -huh. Have not I commanded thee? Be strong and of good courage. Be not afraid. Neither be thou dismayed. Right. For the Lord thy God is with thee. Uh -huh. Whithersoever thou goest. We ain't afraid of you. Okay. We ain't afraid of doggone nothing you got for us because the most high is with us. Once we come into that realization, you cannot be stopped. Once you have faith, that's what faith is, man. Do you really have faith? All right. Our forefather, Daniel, all right, was in a lion's den amongst lions. Okay. And his faith, all right, you know, brought him through. Okay. Our, 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 our brothers with three holy holy children, okay, you know, they doggone told the doggone king, and hey, we ain't bowing down to that doggone idol. Mm -hmm. Okay? That's old Shad Rat, Meshach, and Abednego, if you if you're a Christian. All right? And they threw them in the fire. Okay? And their faith left them all right, untouched. Scripture said they saw a figure walking in the furnace. Okay, one like the son of man, okay, protected our brothers because they had faith. That's the type of faith we got to have. You can't fear these devils, man. Mm -hmm. You can't, you got the one and true God. 
You can't fear him. Understand that, man. He told you that. You got to believe that. Read the scripture again. Joshua 1 and 9. You got to believe it. You know, you know how they tell you they told you coming up when it come to dog on wild animals. Hey, don't worry about don't worry about that dog on raccoon. Mm. Don't get bothering it, okay? Because he's he more scared of you than you is of him. Right. Okay, these devils is most scared of you. They most scared of you. At least the elite are, because they know, they know that as long as you keep in the commandments, your God will fight for you. Read that. Mm -hmm. Another one. This is the book of Joshua, chapter one and verse nine. Have not I commanded thee, be strong and of good courage. Uh -huh. Be not afraid, neither be thou dismayed. For the Lord thy God is with thee, whithersoever thou goest. That's right. He is with you wherever you go, man. Okay? All right? So don't be dismayed and don't fear. Huh? All right? Uh -huh. I want y'all to see, all right, how the, how, how, how the, the, the narrative has changed and how you know, they have our minds and even their own people conflicted, okay, on who the true people are, right? And 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 who, all right, rulership is entitled to. Watch this. Just, just pay attention to this. Yeah. Adelson is a right-wing fascist, racist bigot who doesn't understand the first thing about the idea that human beings might have rights. Sheldon Allison believes that only Jews, only Jewish people are completely human, that they're attached in some way. The chosen to... people of God, yeah. And, mm -hmm. and, and... All right, so you hear, you hear this guy, okay? He says, okay, that this man, okay, uh, this guy's he's, he's a he's a high level so-called Jew. OK. He believes that only the Jewish people are human. Now, that don't make no sense. OK, that don't make no sense. We start tearing that word apart and we find the root word of human is hue. And we find out that hue means color. Right. right? And they ain't got That's no right. color. So that puts that to shame and it doesn't make any sense. Okay. But you're, you're, you're walking around using this word human loosely when it doesn't even fit you. Okay. You're not the only one that's human. You're the only one that's not human. <laughs> right. It's in reverse, man. Mm -hmm. It's that that's right. The farthest from it. All right. This is wild. Pay attention. And every everybody else on earth is there to serve them. He's crazy. This is the chosen people of God, and everybody on earth is there to serve them. All right. That sounds that sounds about right. Right? Okay. But people. It's a crazy, crazy, crazy guy. Unfortunately, this crazy, crazy, crazy guy is also incredibly rich and has the tiny little, I nearly said the P word, mm -hmm. that can also be used to describe a male gentleman, prick, mm -hmm. Donald Trump, in his pocket. The murder of George Floyd in Minneapolis last week was done with a technique invented by the IDF by the mm. occupation forces. Mm -hmm. Israeli, the Israelis invented, let's kill people by kneeling on their necks and cutting off the blood supply of the carotid artery to the mm. brain. That is an Israeli technique taught to the militarized police forces of the United States of America by Israeli experts, who mm. the Americans have been flying over to the United States mm -hmm. to teach them how to murder the blacks because they've seen how efficient the Israelis have been murdering Palestinians mm -hmm. in the occupied territories using those techniques. And they're proud of it. They're proud of it. The Israelis are proud of it. They go, hey, look how good we are at this. Mm -hmm. You can learn. Zionism is an ugly. All right. So you hear him. OK, he's giving you the agenda. OK, of of some Jews. OK. 
He he even mentioned, you know what I mean, George Floyd, and said that the technique that was used on George Floyd comes from the Israeli doggone uh, military, okay, or police force. All right, and they use that technique on on Palestinians. Now that right there is that's that's hearsay. Okay, that's 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 the, we we don't know that to be true. All right, but it wouldn't surprise me because this is the devil that the Bible speaks of. It doesn't surprise me. So right, you had a one. Go ahead. He sounds anti-Semitic. Come. What did he say? <laughs> How, how can we get to say that and we can't say nothing like that? Right. <laughs> right. It's sad, man. Okay. It's sad. All right. Give me uh, the book of Hebrews chapter 12 and verse 6. Okay. Give me that. Uh, this is the book of Hebrews chapter 12 and verse 6. Because the person of no, a, it, it, it fits this description right here. Go ahead. This is the book of Hebrews chapter 12 and verse 6. And it reads, for whom the Lord loveth, he chasteneth and scourgeneth every son whom he receiveth. Uh huh. If ye endure chastening, Yahweh dealeth with you as with sons. For what son is he whom the father chasteneth not? Hey, but I, if you do, hey, that was a good scripture, man, but I called it wrong, man. I woman 12 and 16. We should have brought oh, that up. About okay, come on. <laughs> hey, give me 12 and 16. It's the book of Hebrews, chapter 12, and verse 16. Least there be any fornicator or profane person as Esau. Right. Who, for one morsel of meat, sold his birthright. Right. Read on. For ye know how that afterward, when he would have inherited the blessing, right. he was rejected. For he found no place of repentance. Though he saw it carefully with tears. Though he saw it carefully with tears. Okay. So these devils, they 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 have no repentance. Okay. So they got a dog gonna orchestrate every lie in the book, okay, and manipulate you. And they do it at, at, you know through deceivery. Okay. And that's why we call them devil, because that's what devil means. All right, to deceive. All right. All right. Devils. All right, you saw the language that he was using, okay? All right, it put the it put the Jewish man on high. This mm -hmm. is the kingdom, all right, and that's why they reign supreme. All right, hey, Slock. go ahead, uh, uh Slock, yeah, add one. Um, SOT, you, you had a um, uh, a YouTube short on uh, two Jewish rabbis, I would assume it was, or one Jewish rabbi and one just a regular Jewish dude. And he was saying how, um, like, every non-Jewish person is just their slaves now, and it's going to be their slaves when their Messiah comes back. And the guy, the interviewer, was like, oh, how is there, how is everybody else your slave? And he said, um, because they build us our cars, our houses, and stuff like that. And you find Issachar doing that stuff. That's right. That's right. All right. You know, doing that doggone slave master. You know what I mean? They're not lying to you. Okay, they don't have to dog on bend a finger. Okay, they don't have to dog on bend a finger, man. These these a lot of these dog on Jewish people are loving life, man. Okay, and they doing it off the sweat of your brow, huh? Mm -hmm. All right, mm -hmm. now and let's. I took another snippet, okay, of that um, conversation between Candace and and the rabbi. We're gonna play it real quick. It's real short. Okay, I'm not gonna hold everybody. All right, too long. All right, but let's go ahead and dive into this. I have both sit on the conservative side of political. We share that, right? Um, and we face the same way when it comes to that. And we both, I think, are disappointed in those who are Republicans in name only, correct? Yes. Okay. Does that mean they're not Republicans? Well, I wouldn't describe a race as a political ideology, like a, a political party. That's very different. So to say that you can't be a race like you're not That's black true. if you don't support this is different than like you're basically saying that a jewish person can be anti-semitic so that would be like saying a black person can in fact be racist um towards or or, or they're can, not black look, I, i'm not going to comment on black com community mm -hmm. 
I will say there are plenty of self-hating Jews. Okay, so you do believe, that's all I was trying to get you to say, is that Jewish people who don't support Israel, you are saying they are anti-Semitic. I just want to understand that. I'm saying it very clearly, they are self-hating Jews. Let's use that term very specifically. Okay. And you need to understand why they are self-hating Jews. And you need to understand, as, as numerous people have talked about, I've written about, Gregor's talked about, Gorka's talked about, Levin's talked about, a number of people have talked about, um, Shapiro's talked about, as I say, I've written about, is that a, a people want to assimilate. For 2,000 years, Jews have been persecuted, and so they want to assimilate, and so many have converted from Judaism not to another religion, but to leftist politics. That becomes their religion, and they lose their identity. That is a reality. So you need to understand, or I shouldn't say you need to, that's not fair, and I apologize. I hope, I would hope that you understand a history and an understanding that we define what anti-Semitism is. Better. Hey, you, and you don't get the doggone define what anti-Semitism is. In the mm -hmm. doggone discussion. Okay? That's what he come to tell him. Now, now, look, you can find this video right here, okay? You see, you see it up here. This crazy rabbi Barclay attacks me for things I never said, okay? You can find this video on YouTube, okay? Now, look. It, the reason why him, okay, and uh, Rabbi, Smo, what is his name, uh, Smole, and um, what's the other guy, uh, the other uh, rabbi he kept mentioning, um, I forget. But anyway, the reason why they're coming after Candace, okay, is because she made a um, she made a statement. You know, she know she goes off to these colleges and stuff and speaks. She made a statement to say that Hitler, okay, she said hit she doesn't consider Hitler a nationalist. Okay. That's what she was saying. She said, I don't consider, you know, uh Hitler to be a nationalist because Hitler, he yeah, he cared about the people of Germany, but he had his own agenda. You know, he wanted to actually make everybody one people, okay? You know, he had Nimrod tendencies, kind. He had mm -hmm. Antiochus Epiphanes t uh, tendencies, kind. Okay, mm -hmm. so she was saying that you know she don't consider him to be a nationalist, right? Okay, and she said that if if um, if he cared about the German people and wanted to make Germany great, okay. And she was all for that, okay, because he was trying to take care of his people just like she cares about her people, okay? We have a similar stance, okay? All right? We care about the Israelites, okay? Mm -hmm. that's, that, that's who we care about, all right? You know, and, and we would be considered, all right, nationalists, okay? Because we care about our people. All right, that's a bad term and a bad name in the eyes of the world, all right? But the scriptures tell you that we were to be separated from the, from the beginning. All of this doggone bringing you together, all right, joining hand to hand, that's of the devil. Right. The most high never intended that for us, okay? And we can prove it. Give me, get, real quick, give me Deuteronomy 32 and 8. Get me Second Ezra chapter six and verse fifty four, okay? And let's just show them real quick. Most I never book, read. This is the book of Deuteronomy chapter thirty two and verse eight, and it reads, "When the Most High divided the, to the nations their inheritance, the Most High did what? Most High divided to the nations their inheritance. Most High divided to the nations their inheritance territories. Read." When he separated the sons of Adam. He did what? Separated the sons of Adam. No, he wanted to leave us all together like Antiochus Epiphany and be one nation. When he separated the sons of Adam. This is the most high is doing. All right. Read. He set the bounds of the people according to the number of the children of Israel. Set the children of Israel up first, okay, and said, this is going to be the ruling class. These are my people. All right, read on. 
for the Lord's portion. I mean, so like it, yeah, for the Lord's portion is his people. He he Jacob. said of the people of Israel and then gave everybody else their inheritance. Okay, because he loved us. Right? Okay. That's right. This this togetherness, okay, that's being brought forward is is not it's not of the most high. It's of the devil. Okay, we were never meant to be together. Give me second edge six and fifty-four. Read that. Um, this is the book of second edge chapter six and verse fifty-four, and it reads, And after these, Adam also, whom thou madest Lord of all thy creatures, uh -huh. of him come we all. Of him come we all. We all come from Adam. Read on. And the people also whom thou hast chosen. And the people that he has chosen. So he made us all and the people that he has chosen. Okay? Let's make that clear. Read on. All this have I spoken before thee, O Lord, because thou madest the world for our sakes. Now this is Ezra speaking. Okay, and he's an Israelite. He says, All this I say because thou has made it the world for the Israelites' sakes. Read on. As for the other people which also come of Adam. And now, as for the other people that are not chosen, that also come from Adam, read. Thou hast said that they are nothing. Thou hast said that what? They are nothing. Thou hast said that they are nothing. Read. But be like unto spittle. But be like unto spit. All right. Hey, 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 hey don't get mad at me. We're reading the scriptures. Most uh -huh. of Israelites are his people. All right. He loved them and everybody else is nothing. And they be like unto spit. Read on. And has likened the abundance of them unto a drop that falleth from a vessel. Now he likened the other people unto a drop that falleth for a vessel. Like I got this cup in my hand. So if I'm walking and I spill a drop, I don't really care about that. I've still got some, some water to hydrate me. That's how, that's how he doggone feel about the other nations, that drop. That what the Bible say. That's how Ezra is breaking this thing down. Don't get mad at us. Okay. Don't get mad at us. Most I chose us, and you mad. That's why you devils, okay, have set up all of these doggone false doctrines to trip us up. That's why you set up Islam. That's why you set up Buddhism. That's why you set up Catholicism. All right? All of this mess, man, Christianity, it all derives from Catholicism, really. Okay? To trip us up and to keep us confused. Okay? That's why you feed us abominable foods. Because you want us to break the laws of God so that you can stay on top. But we figured that out. All right. The jig is up. The jig is up. Okay. That's right. You got your own doggone people telling on you, man. All right. You got your own people telling on you. Hey, let me get one more precept real quick. Give me second address five and 24. Okay, and then we're going to talk about how their own people are telling on them. Right. Uh, well, this is the book of Second Edges, chapter 5, verse 24. And of all lands of the whole world, thou hast chosen the one pit. And of all the flowers thereof, one lily. And of all the depths of the sea, thou hast filled the one river. So you see... The Most High has favorites, okay? So it says he has a favorite land, which is Israel, right? Huh. Okay? He's got a favorite flower, which is the lily, right? Okay? Read on. And of all builded cities, thou hast hollowed Zion unto thyself. Uh-huh. And of all the fowls that are created, thou hast named thee one dove. All right, the dove is his favorite bird, okay? That's his favorite bird. The Most High does not love the dog on eagle like that. He don't He don't love the pigeon like that. He loves the dove. That's his That's his business, okay? He's very racist, man. He's, he, he's very, he's very, he, he's a separatist, man. He only like what he like. 
Oh, Mike, just said he racist. Prove it. Read. Prove it. And of all the cattle that are made, thou hast, hast provided thee one sheep. That's why that lamb tastes so good, man. Okay? It's like no other, man. I ain't start really eating lamb until I come into the truth, man. I, I, I still eat some steak now, time to time. Okay? But that lamb, doggone, has replaced it. Read on. Uh, and among all the multitudes of the people, thou hast gotten thee one people. He's gotten the now look all of the multitude. Read that again. And among all the multitudes of people, thou has gotten the one people. And all the multitude of the people, God has gotten the one people. Read. And unto this people whom thou lovest, thou gavest a law that is approved of all. Now, and to the people that he loveth. Thou has given thee a law. Okay. When you go into the book of Second Edges, chapter 3 and verse 35, it tells you that Israel is the only nation that's kept in the most high's precepts by name. Okay, that's because we're the only ones that got the law, we're the only ones that can understand the law. Okay, we're the only ones. So y'all left short. You you got our book in your hand. You're trying to figure that thing out. That's why you're walking around here talking about all of the doggone Jews, okay, doggone despise Christ. We, 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 we proved you to be a liar with the scriptures. Okay? Shalaki, we, Adam. We, facts. Go ahead, King. Oh, Shalaki, I don't mean to cut you off. No, you're good, brother. Go ahead. Um, I, I got a preset. Go ahead. It's the book of Isaiah, chapter 40 and verse 17. All nations before him are as nothing, and they are counted to him less than nothing and vanity. Right, so to, um, to go off the precept which you got before in the book of Second Edges, and the Most High only dealing with Israel and Israel only. The Most High not dealing with the nations. He took out, he took out his people, which you read in the book of Deuteronomy, not because they was the biggest nation. There was a small nation, he chose Israel, and everybody else he just 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 left there that's right brother he because he don't care about it is that and, and the thing is is when you go into the book of isaiah chapter 55 he tells you my thoughts are not your thoughts everybody walk around here god wouldn't do that you don't know what god would do he took mm -hmm. his chosen people that he loved dear and put us in the hands of our enemies man and let them do whatever they wanted to do with us they raped our women Okay, they killed our dog on fathers. All right, they fed our babies to alligators. They did everything they wanted to do with us. Okay, that's how the most high chastised us. But you think you know what he thinking? You don't know what he thinking. He got one. He races. Mm -hmm. And when you go into the book of Malachi chapter three and six, he tells you that he don't change. Mm -hmm. So if he yeah. change, that means he's a liar. And that can't be the case. But 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 the most I said in the last day he's gonna pour his spirit out on all flesh. Okay, and that listen, that's not a benefit towards you, damn heathens. It's not okay, because he's gonna use you for his purpose, Khan. Okay, uh -huh. so us it's not a benefit for. I pray, okay, that, that he not utilizing my mouthpiece and that he, you know what I mean, don't shut me up. I pray, you know what I mean, that I be a part of that number. But he's going to utilize these heathens to do this. Now, I'm going to show you this, okay? <laughs> Give me uh, Jeremiah 16 and 19. Mm, I had that precept, too. I was uh, going to bring that one out. Con, so this is the book of Jeremiah, chapter 16 and verse 19. Uh -huh. And it reads, Oh, Lord, my strength and my fortress and my refuge in the day of my um so like in the day of affliction the gentiles shall come unto thee from the ends of the earth uh -huh. and shall say surely our fathers have inherited lies vanity and things wherein there is no profit it said the gentiles are going to come from the end of the earth and they're going to say surely our fathers have inherited lies we're not the real Jews. That's what they're going to say. Christ is not white. All right? 
He's a Negro. Those doggone so-called African Americans, those those so-called Latinos and and Native Americans of Negro descent, okay, and those there's this other Jews scattered throughout all the nations. They're the real Jews. We're not. We're their servants. Okay. They're gonna come to that realization. All right, and it's already happening. It's already happening. Appreciate that, Father. This is what I would call real. Whoa, let's pull it back. Precept. Psalm number one. This is the book of Psalms, chapter two and verse one. And it reads, why do the heathen rage and the people imagine a vain thing? And that's one of the things with these uh, so-called Jewish people. Like, what's the benefit of you saying you're a Jew when the end thereof you're still going to be put put to death you're still going to be eradicated so what's what's profiting you by saying you are the people of the book or the people of god and i yield that one it's 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 false hope man okay i guess they just gonna they think they're just gonna speak it into existence okay no. his paul said hey what advantage have the jew all right much in every way right oh no. oh no. you know? We, we, we have the advantage just because of our seed line, right? You have no advantage. You, 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 you're you the lowest of the low. We learned that in the book of Job, okay? But check this out. This is prophecy coming to pass. This is what I would call real Jews, people from the tribe of Judah. And when we start talking about the new world order, we are not talking about these people at all. We're talking about these Khazar warriors that only pretended to embrace Judaism. And so today, we find that about 92% of the people who claim to be Jews really aren't. They don't have a drop of Semitic blood in their veins. Period. Enough said, okay? And that's coming from your own brother, okay? And we've seen many of them. Okay, come out here and tell you the truth. So-called black man, so-called Hispanic man, and Native American man, them the real Jews right there. Okay, the jig is up. Might as well just, just, just give up, Esau. Just give up, Ham. Okay, Elam, you arrogant as hell. Uh. Okay, you arrogant as hell, Elam. Okay, I don't know if y'all experienced that thing, man, but Elam, okay, that's an arrogant devil, man. All right, you know. Ishmael too. Ishmael think everything funny, man. Okay, the Most High gonna dog on. He gonna he gonna show Ishmael. Okay, but hey, look, this thing is is coming to pass, That's right, Sister Benai, about Ephraim. Okay, these Khazars. All right. When you look, when you look over in the land, man, I, I had an image. Okay, I don't wanna. I had an image, man. I failed to upload it. Okay, of you know where the Jews were dwelling. Okay you know in 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 that in that day okay and also where the Khazars were dwelling all right and it's distinct okay you know it's distinct all right and that's where these doggone these the so-called jewish man okay that preside in the land you know that's who they are okay these are the descendants of herod okay the mm -hmm. descendants of herod you know herod he came into into power by way of marriage. That's how he became uh, a ruler of the Jew. He's a convert. Okay, and and we got to understand these people. They've been polluting our land for quite some time. Okay, and the and, and the jig is about up. Now we 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 don't know when. Not even the Son of Man knows. Okay, but the Most High getting ready to set his judgment for. Okay, mm -hmm. he getting ready to set his judgment for. If you got something. Khan, I got a precept, I don't want. Go ahead, brother. Right to go off what you're talking about. Um, this is the book of Mark, chapter 3 and verse, I'll start at verse 24. And if a kingdom be divided against himself, itself, that kingdom cannot stand. And if a house be divided against itself, that house cannot stand. And if Satan rise up against himself, and if he be divided, he cannot stand, but hath an end. That's right? right. So that's 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 two two demons of one you know of one devil you know 
and um, also you got the Amalekites claiming to be also um, Ashkenazi Jews as well, you know, which also just comes from different European nations as a as as a convert. But with that, I you. Hey, that's right. All right. And I forgot about this one, um, Yazabad. Okay. Hey, and the thing about it is the people over there, you know, in that region, hey, a lot of them know what's really going on. Okay. Cool. I don't know what's going on. You 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 doggone you you come over here in 19 doggone in the 1940s, okay, and you hey the Jews are back. Okay. The 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 Israelis are here. Okay. But but you say you only got Levi and Judah. Okay. We trying to figure out where the rest of the tribes at. And you reigning in your land. Okay. That doesn't make any sense. Okay. When we look at the prophecies, we go to Ezekiel 37, it tells you that all 12 tribes, the house of Judah and the house of Israel are going to come together and they're going to be uh, one stick. Okay. They're going to come back together. That's one stick. We go to Isaiah chapter 14. Give me that real quick. Isaiah 14. Okay. Mm-hmm. And uh, start at verse one. Okay. It tells you that this thing's going to happen at the end. When all is said and done, there's so much prophecy that still has to be fulfilled. Okay. Get that real quick. Isaiah 14 and one. God, this is the book of Isaiah chapter 14 and verse one. For the Lord will have mercy on Jacob uh-huh. and will yet choose Israel and set them in their own land. So he's going to set the Israelites in their own land. In order for this prophecy to make sense, Israel and Judah, the house will have to come together. All right. You said you only got Levi and doggone Judah. Uh-huh. Read. And the strangers shall be joined with them. It says he joined with them. Now, from what I understand, all right, you got people all right, from, from other nationalities over there, okay? But everybody not 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 over there in that in that part of the land right now. Okay. Everybody not gonna fit. You you gotta you gotta understand what land is ours, okay? You gotta start from Egypt, I mean Israel and go all the way down to Saudi Arabia, man. Okay, and understand our portion of the land. Okay, everywhere our soul, all right, has touched is our land. Well, I'm talking about that land that was given to us. They talk about that little bitty speck, all right, that little bitty dot, all right, that sits on the map, which they call Israel. La ah, do your research. Okay, read on. God and the strangers shall be joined with them, and they shall cleave to the house of Jacob. Uh huh. And the people shall take them and bring them to their place. Right. And the house of Israel shall possess them in the land of the Lord for servants and handmaids. Uh Uh-huh. And they shall take them captives whose captives they were. Right. And they shall rule over their oppressors. And we shall rule over our oppressors. None of that stuff has happened. Okay. None of this happened. All right. During the Uh Balfour Declaration, they set up up this doggone people. Mm-hmm. All right, in the land, okay, and said these are the doggone Jews right here. These are the Israelites, okay. They're God's chosen people, and we supposed to believe that. Guess who didn't believe it? Okay, I'm gonna show you who didn't believe it. All right, it's lucky I don't before you put in the next video because you love Real quick. you're black. Real quick, um, they call themselves Levi and Judah and no other tribe because Levi, you know, they supposedly keep the law and mm-hmm. they go by Judah because that's where the word Jew come from. They don't call themselves any other tribe but Judah and Levi. That's right. That's it, are you? That's right. They try to take the two powerhouses there, King. Mm-hmm. Okay. And and the Jewish dude told me that too. He told me. Uh-huh. I said, why you guys don't, you know, what, what about Simeon, you know, and and Manessa, oh, we don't, we don't know about those tribes. Uh, they saw about the, they go by the, uh, by the sea line of their mother for one. And they said because Levi, with the law, we have our rabbis, and then we have, um, you know, we have our tribe of Judah because we're Jews. 
I'm right. like, wow, that's two out of at at a ten try uh, out of twelve tries. That's crazy. Don't make no sense, do it. Okay. No. Nope. You Bible, uh, it's totally different. In those days, all twelve tribes would be there. All right. Mm -hmm. So this right here is is Gamil Nasir. Okay. All right. He was president of of uh, Egypt from 1954 to 1970. Okay. All right. And let's hear. You can you can read right there on what he said, but let's hear the, the commentary. Be able to live here in peace because you left here black and came back white. So this is the president, the late president of Egypt. And he quoted that uh, the real Jews left Israel black and they came back white. Hmm. Something wrong with that, isn't it? It's something wrong with y'all's story. Your story got holes in it. The real Jews are black. You're looking at one of them. We the real Jews. Our homeland was taken away from us. And that's why all this is going on in that region of the world. That's why all this has been going on for years, the fighting and wars over there. It's because they don't belong in that land. And according to the, hey, this guy here, the late hey, president Shalakia. of Egypt. What's up, Bob? Uh, the Lord said he was going to have war with Amalek from generation to generation. That's right. That's right. Bring it out. I don't think that's in the book of First uh, Samuel. Fifteen. Fifteen. Uh, I think yeah, Con fifteen. Um, let me see. I don't know exactly where it is. I go explain. Right. All right, I can't find it, but look it up, King. I got a first Samuel 15 and 3. That's what you look for. I get it. And it reads, Now go and smite Amalek and utterly destroy all that they have, and spare them not, but slay both man and woman, infant and suckling, ox and sheep, camel and ass. Is that what you look for? Now that right there is when he told he told Saul, all right. You know what I mean? To kill all the Amalekites. But go to Exodus chapter 17 and verse 16. God. <laughs> all praises, man. We've seen it at the same time. God. God. All praise to the Most High. This is the book of um, Exodus chapter 17 and verse. What was it? I said, I'm so lucky. Oh, uh, 16. 16. It's the book of Exodus chapter 17 and verse 16. And it reads For he said, Because the Lord hath sworn that the Lord will have war with Amalek from generation to generation. That's right. Mm. Okay. So he sworn, okay, to have war with that, that would be the grandson of Esau. Okay, now look, mm -hmm. one thing one thing about it, we can't we can't prove, all right, that the the uh the Jews that are in the land today are actually Amalek. Esau had many grandsons, okay? He had many grandsons. Understand? We do believe them to be Khazars, right? Okay? But we got to be fair. Esau had other grandsons, okay? And, you know, that's our stance as uh, Sons of Thunder. We, we're we not sure, okay, that, you know, this is Amalek, okay? All right? Could be, but we can't prove it. Mm. All right? We can't prove that's it. That's fair. That's fair. You know what I mean? He had he, he, he had many he had many sons. So mm -hmm. I'm gonna leave it at that. We don't we don't dispute brothers. It's it's prove it, and that's one thing that uh, Sons of Thunder will stand on. If the Bible doesn't say it, okay, we won't say it. Con. Oh. All right. All right. Hey, so uh, hey, let's go ahead and continue to play the video. He was the president from 1954 until his death in 1970. He quoted that the real Jews are black. Hmm. 
Yeah. So, uh, Amalek, you got holes in your story, my boy. You got holes in your story. Your story don't add up to what this guy is saying and to what the Bible says about the real Jews. Right. Okay. He got many holes in the stories. We, we, we identified that from the jump. Okay. That these devils are some damn liars and they don't know history, okay? And they're spewing out rhetoric just to keep us dog on sleep. And look, we're going to continue to go at these jokers. Give me Jeremiah chapter 25 and 9. We're not going to stop, okay? Give me, is that what I want? You got it? Um, hey, hey, Ezekiel, give me Ezekiel 35 and 2. My bad. Ezekiel 35 and 2. Read that. This is the book of Ezekiel, chapter 35 and verse 2, and it reads, uh -huh. Son of man, set thy face against Mount Seir uh -huh. and prophesy against it. Hey, the scriptures tell us the dog going to set our face against the governments of Esau and prophesy against him, okay? And we're going to continue to do it. We can care less what you got to say, okay? We can care le less what you're going to do. You're going to fall, okay? And that's thus saith the Lord. I saw uh, Malak Yawasab say that Deuteronomy chapter 30 uh, is the kryptonite of Esau. Let's get one of my favorite scriptures out of that. Give me Deuteronomy chapter 30 and 7. Okay, give me Deuteronomy 30 and 7. All right, we're getting ready to hang it up there, there, people. Hmm. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 30, verse 7. Uh huh. And the Lord thy God will put all these curses upon thy enemies. And the Lord's gonna do what? Put all these curses upon thine enemies. And the whole side is gonna put all these curses upon our enemies. When this thing is all said and done, that's what's going to happen. We already see it happening. I was at I was at camp at Five Points this past uh, Shabbat, you know, and I, I was telling Adewan that, you know what I mean? You see these devils walking around in the dust now. Esau's jacked up, man. Okay? We see a lot of their people falling, man. Okay? A lot of people from the other nations, too. We see it. It's coming on them. Okay? Mm -hmm. Coming on. We got to remain patient. This doesn't mean... Okay, that our people are rising to a, a, a elite status right now. Nope, we still got to be tried as gold as fire. Okay, mm -hmm. we do see prophecy coming to pass, huh? Uh -huh. Okay. We do see this thing coming to pass. All right, Con. Somebody got a precept? Con, I got a precept. Better one. Go ahead. Hey, and um, a lot of these nations want to live like Jake. They don't need. They they want to be Jake now. Mm -hmm. That's you know that's why they they go they gonna have to live sit in the dust like Jake right now, um. But Slaki, I got a precept. Um, this is the book of Second Corinthians chapter eleven, in verse fourteen, and it reads, "And no marvel for seeing himself is transformed into an angel of light, right?" So the, you know they come back like, "Oh, we're back in our land, thank you," you know, try to march in there like, like they like they not um imposters, like they didn't help in the, the mass mass uh genocide of a nation you know they hey. come they come in use smooth words and in the interviews oh that hurts my feelings you're anti-semitic right and that's and, and that that's one thing that that they'll do as a distraction king okay they'll use that guilt trip they already tripped us up with uh the messiah okay and and, and painting him white now look i'm telling you to go watch that video for a reason OK, because one of the one of the um, the tricks and one of their devices is, OK, they'll they'll throw Hitler, Hitler's name out there in a heartbeat because, look, the book stops there. OK. Hitler is going to be a distraction from everything else that goes on. OK, everything else that they're doing. OK, because that time 
was such a terrible time in history, okay? You have to be sympathetic for it, okay? The buck stops there, okay? That's how they swayed Nick Cannon. That's how they swayed Deshaun Jackson, okay? That's how they sway our people. All right, now, if you paid attention to, um, well, if you if you've watched that video, one of the things that um, Rabbi Barclay is going to do is he's going to invite Candace Owens to watch um, a, um, a, a, a a film of October 7th, okay? Now, October 7th is when um, uh, it, it, it was some tragic times uh, over there during that, that war over there in Gaza, okay? And they've taken some clips and some footage and they put that together, okay? And they're use, utilizing this right here for your sympathy, just like they utilized the Holocaust. Okay. Kings of propaganda. I don't want. Say that again, King. The kings of propaganda, ain't it? That that I exactly. Okay. See, the buck stops with that thing. They 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 took old Nick Cannon. They took old uh, Deshaun Jackson. Okay, and some of our other brothers. And they took them and they said, "Hey, look, watch this." Okay. And what happened after they watched those videos and, and spent time with these people? They backpedaled. And they issued apologies to these people, right? Look, you're not, look, you ain't doggone got a backpedal for nothing for saying that Kyrie Irving, okay? Same difference. They're trying to doggone, you know what I mean, round him up too, all right? You're not saying nothing wrong when you say, all right, that your people are the Jews. First of all, you got freedom of speech. Okay. What gives them the right to come and take that away? Okay. You, you look, your people are the Jews. You fit the description. If you're a so-called black man, okay, all right, whose doggone ancestors came over here via Atlantic slave trade, all right, and your father and his father and his father's fathers trace back, okay, to the, the, the Israelites, okay. Hispanic, all right, of Negroid and Indian descent, okay, you are an Israelite, come, okay, uh -huh. your father has to trace back to that lineage, now look, if you can also, give me Psalms 147, okay, and 19, okay, because it's spiritual as well, we can't literally trace that stuff back down to the T, we have to move with the spirit, Okay, we have to move with the spirit. Give me that real quick. This is the book of Psalms, chapter one. Salaki, go ahead. Go ahead, Aron. Now you, you got it. It's the book of Psalms, chapter 147, and verse 19. He showeth his word unto Jacob, his statutes and his judgments unto Israel. Uh huh. He has not dealt so with any nation. Read. And as for his judgments, they have not known them. So, so look, praise ye Yahweh. The Most High has only given the law, statutes, and commandments to the Israelites. Okay, and we know this that not everybody can get it. We know this from trying mm -hmm. to teach our people constantly. Okay, maybe the Most High hasn't, you know, awakened some of our people, but we see it. It's it's a beautiful thing. Okay, it's a beautiful thing to see. You know what I mean? That the Most High's ability to blind people to something that is so simple. It's beautiful. Okay? Give me John 6 and 63. Okay? Con that one. This is the book of John, chapter 6 and verse 63. And it reads, It is the spirit that quickeneth. Uh-huh. The, fl the flesh profiteth profit nothing. That's right. Okay? It is the spirit that quickeneth. The flesh, it profiteth nothing. Okay? All right? Quickeneth means to move. All right? So the Holy Spirit is quickening you to understand. Word? I mean, read. Come. The words that I speak unto you, they are spirit and they are life. 
the words that I speak into you, they are spirit and they are life. Okay. So if you can understand this thing, all right, you're, you're, you're an Israelite. Most of I'm not giving this understanding to non-Israelites. One more scripture, Romans 8 and 14. Okay. That's right. Malak Yawasa. Only we fit the description. Okay. And that's why we don't do the, the, the skin tone thing either. That's why you, you, you can't, you can't tell that thing by skin tone, okay? You can understand the scriptures. If the Most High utilized you to do this work through the spirit and power of Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai, you are Israel. Read mm -hmm. that. Romans 8, 14. This is the book of Romans chapter 8 and verse 14. Uh -huh. For as many are as led by the spirit of Yahweh, right? they are the sons of Yahweh. For as many as led by the spirit of the Most High, they are the sons of the most high. That's right, King. Mm -hmm. Okay, now get the scripture. Get get 16. Get 16. I see the brother Shawa Ball. Shalom a lot. Shawa Verse 16. Ball. The spirit itself bear witness with our spirit that we are the sons. I mean, like that we are the children of Yahweh. The spirit itself bear witness with our spirit that we are the children of God. Mm -hmm. Okay. So we're dealing with the spirit, not the flesh. Right. Come. Mm. Come. Mm. And so I can, that's why we, we don't go off of, um, of, of skin color. Um, because if we go based off skin color, then then all, all the dark skinned Judites and, and is gonna make it then. And that's right. That's, that's, that's basically gonna have to go hand in hand then. You know, and hey man, one day I'm gonna tell you something. I, I don't know if we're gonna we, we're gonna do a camp video on it or not, but we have a discussion with some guys at camp. And I'm just gonna make this real quick because I don't want to really give it away, but I'm just gonna say this. That's a very it's a very ignorant argument. Okay. All right, to to use the dark skin perspective. And I'm just gonna say this. If the children of Israel were amongst the Canaanites first. That makes our argument very valid when it comes to dark skin, light skin. It makes our argument invalid, I should say. Okay? Mm -hmm. We don't know who's who. Okay? It's it, it's the spirit. I'm going to leave it at that. If you, if you didn't get it, you didn't get what I just said, okay? Hey, I don't know what to tell you. Okay? I don't know what to tell you. Sure. All right. Okay. Hey, but look. Hey, hey, speaking of that, damn, that's a good segue. Mm -hmm. Hey, check this video out. That's the spirit. I'm a grown ass person and I've got Talk, talk on that too. though. What do you mean? They make videos like, oh, who, what race that you would not date? And they're like Somalis. I'm like, but we are black. So how can, I know. How can you? Do you know yeah. what's deep though? Should I tell you why, why that is though? Because you see, like with with black ancestry, yeah, if we go back in history, there's like literally two, more or less two lineages, which is like yeah. Sham, Shem, and and Ham. Yeah. Yeah. So it's like this is from obviously this is like prophetic. So obviously they're they're both black, but they. Hey, you hear? Hey, now look, these these are Somalian women, and they understand all right that you got Shem and Ham, and both Shem and Ham are dark skinned lineages. They understand that they're just different types of black, yeah, because they're from it's like cousins, yeah, do you yeah. know what I mean? So, like, when you go towards West Africa, obviously, their features are slightly different to like East Africa because they're just two different lineages. So, when like Jamaicans or Nigerians are like, Oh, you lot ain't black, yeah. it's like you ain't our black, that's what they're yeah, trying yeah, to say. Yeah, <laughs> it's like, you're not, do you know what I mean? You're not black, black, yeah, oh, like when you look at Sudanese God. people, you know, they, they it's just a different type of look, so obviously, that's why they just see it as now. I Hey, so they 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 going somewhere with it. They off, okay. Now that means you're not an Israelite if you're a Somalian, okay. You, you, you're not, okay, all right. It's a possibility, but hey, we're not we're not dealing with the Somalian people, Khan. All right, uh, all right. Got a precept, but, a precept out. Hey, go ahead, bring your precept out. And hey, you brothers, if you got any precepts, man, go ahead and bring them out. It's the Book of Exodus, chapter eleven, verse seven. But against any of the children of Israel shall not a dog move move his tongue against man or beast 
that ye know how the Lord Yahweh have put a difference between the Egyptians and Israel. That's right. So he uh -huh. he he made us he made us the same color, but we're not we're not the same people. That's right. That's oh. the difference. That's right. Okay, we're not the same people. All right. All right, you brothers, you brothers got anything else before we wrap this thing up? Okay. Uh -huh. All right. Uh -huh. So hey, look. Okay, Negroes cannot be anti-Semitic. Okay, stop coming on these doggone platforms making a fool out of yourself, rabbis. Okay, we we know our history, man. Okay, right. we know who we are. All right, the word anti Semitic, as you doggone throw out and try to play on, it has no weight. Okay, it's ignorant, it's low. All right, your understanding stinks. Okay, and and, and you can go to hell. Okay, oh. all right, so we like to give all oh. praise. All right, we want to go ahead and hear from our sponsor. Oh, let me let me tell you. So, a I, I, I looked at a lot of the, 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 the music, man. Okay, and uh, you know, Adawan, he, he got a lot going on too. All right, so we're gonna be we, we, we're gonna be pushing some more music out. Okay, we're gonna be pushing some more music out here soon. Okay, we, we some new music populating on uh Friday. Okay, on the Sabbath class, Khan. Okay, uh -huh. so you sent your, your sent your track in. You know, hopefully it made the cut. Okay, that's, uh -huh. that's the thing. okay. Hopefully it made the cut. All right, so let's go ahead and hear from our sponsors. Welcome to the Truth of Yah. The Truth of Yah's board game mission is to humble the world in the Truth of Yah. The Truth of Yah's board game vision is to build up the poor man and woman in spirit. Many people are deceived by lies, deceit, fraud, pride, forward mouth, arrogance, and evil ways. The poor in spirit are attacked daily. The vision to build up the spirit is to cause people only to walk in the ways of Yahweh, just as his son Yahweh Shai and the prophets did, by not just speaking the word, about putting every word Yahweh spoke into action. into action. We're the sons of thunder Israelites, and it's our heart's prayer and desire that you all get the truth of Yah game. Use our discount code SOT for additional savings. Shalom. Shalom. Alright, let's, let's play, man. Let's, let's get it, man. Let's get it going, man. Shalom, I'm Sister Mayan, um, a student ambassador for the Spiritual Midwifery program. Spiritual Midwifery has changed my perspective in a positive way when it comes to birth work. It has made me confident that I'm taking on the role that the Most High has chosen me for. I feel as though it has provided me with the right tools to better serve my current clients as a doula and future clients as a midwife. What makes Spiritual Midwifery stand out more than other trainings and programs is that it's much more personable. Just being able to learn with and learn from sisters that are like-minded brings out a level of closeness and spirituality that cannot be achieved by anything not ordained by the Most High. I can definitely feel his presence every time class meets. I would definitely recommend the program to other Hebrew women pursuing midwifery. It's such a joy to learn from another Hebrew sister and also have a community of sisters to learn with that face the same daily struggles that we face in life. Shalom, 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 family. First and foremost, I have to give all praises, all glory, and all honor unto the Most High God, Yahweh. Of course, I do so in the name of His only begotten Son, Yahweh Shai, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. It's your brother, Ariala of Sakari, and I am excited to present to you the nation of Israel, the official Hebrew Israelite Bible. Now, this has been the culmination of four long years of hard work, and it is available for purchase at HIBOfficialZion.com. Get yours today. Welcome to Pillars of Rest, where you can find special material for our sisters, by our sisters. This is a Sons of Thunder exclusive platform 
focused on building, encouraging, uplifting, and engaging with the Daughters of Zion. Here you'll find personalized and interactive content geared towards showing what it truly means to be a pillar of rest. Interviews, scripture breakdowns, tips on motherhood, marriage, and testimonials are just the beginning of the many things to learn from and enjoy in this program. Say what's real. Uh. My father figure keep me guided. I'm always protected. Not a single wrong. I don't ever get corrected. Light over my shoulders. Tells from a priest. Take a Psalms 23 and sit your tail to a seat. Legendary in a way. But nothing like a tall tale. False gods set them up. They all fell. Fantasies they all sell. Nothing in my time can compare to the timeless. The light behind my rhyme and the one who I get in line with. Yeah. Ain't no other lane for this fire flame minister. Descended from a higher plane. Ain't no higher name from the one. When a gun jam, I figure you know now. Divine power, follow me. That's just how it be. Yeah. I can testify for sure. My heart not pure. But still I get to see a day that I did not work for. Bodies dropping with the climate. Gas raising on black faces. Still I'm the one who made it. I just be thinking when I roll. Something keep watching me. Yeah. Something keep watching me. The most high. Something keep watching me. Yeah. Something keep watching me. I feel like everywhere I go. Something keep watching me. Uh-huh. Something keep watching me. The most high. With my conscience, I acknowledge that there is a higher power. Look, Look at me. me. False idols never promise victory. You survive cause you was meant to. Stop the guessing. You a prized possession. Blessing from the sky. Ain't no higher lesson. Uh-huh. I'm a messenger. You should get with this rhythm. Gospel. You ain't gotta be poor with chains no more. Flip up your master plate. Don't be captivated by your master space. The earth is yours. The first the one we know gon' have to pass away. Destiny, you part of a higher design They tell me the sight of his eyes like fire and wine Coming at the wild child who made it through the birth canal uh-huh. One shot, amazing how you missed the kiss of death Life was in your uh-huh. step, people turned away from out this way Never coming back, yeah. slipped and fell inside the cracks yeah. Landed on their back, but you ten toes in the field Still in one piece, for real, from the bottom Where all kind of brothers get easily killed Rest in peace to them You part of a higher design They tell me the sight of his eyes like fire and wine when I roll, something keep watching me. Something keep watching me. The most high. Yeah. Something keep watching me. Something keep watching me. I feel like everywhere I roll, something keep watching me. Uh huh. Something keep watching me. Most high. Uh huh. I said something keep watching me. Yeah. Something keep watching me. Hey, Salakia, hey, Akiyam and Akwa, hey, don't forget, April the 22nd at evening will be the Lord's Passover, okay? April 22nd at evening will be the Lord's Passover. All right, we're closing the RSVP April the 1st, all right? April the 1st, we're going to close the RSVP. All right, so make sure you RSVP. Send us an email at capital S-O-T, all right? Feast day, all right, at gmail.com. All right, capital S, capital O, capital T, feast day at gmail.com. Let us know how many people you're going to bring uh, with you. All right, that way we can accommodate you. All right, brothers and sisters, y'all come on out so we can give back a generous offering. Okay, and so you can get the lesson. Okay, that's the most beautiful part. All right, and the the, the most important part of our Passover, okay, is receiving that, that Passover lesson in the prayers. Con. OK, so come on out if you're in the Atlanta area. OK, or if you plan to be in the Atlanta area, 
All right, make sure you get your tickets now, okay? Go ahead and get your plane tickets, okay? Start planning. Our attire is going to be black and gold, okay? Sons of Thunder will be black and gold this year. Con, all right? All praises to the Most High. All right, all praise to the most high. Let's get back to this good music. All right.
than the most high, keep in your hour first And put your hands to the plow, cause what's fate without worse? You my brother and you my sister, I care for you The knowledge I get out this truth, I'ma share with you Me watching you live in this sin is unbearable So if you fall, I lift you up, you know I'm there for you yeah, You wear your heart on your sleeve, I never get you I put my heart in your hands, if you be careful I'll be there, I'll be there, I'll be there for you I'll be there, I'll be there
because there's blood behind every scar. What? Look, the Jews were black. It's written in the book. They say you wanna hide something from a black man and put it in the book. Hey, facts. But that's just how it is. It's sad, but that's just how it is. But we get blamed for the way we live. But they never blame the ones that taught it to us. It's just a life cycle, but I'm just trying to be the best, just like Michael. It's been a lot of blood, sweat, and tears. Where I come from, you gotta put away your fears. Only a few wanna see you up, but most people wanna see you down. That's why my smile, it turned to a frown. When you a king, you deserve a crown. It's all praises to the most high. I'ma keep his commandments till I die. I know sometimes we like to ask why, but I learned that you gotta let the Lord work. He do it. I know I'm here for a reason. For a reason. Damn, they killing for no reason. <laughs> yeah, it's been a bloody season. bloody season. My people constantly fighting demons. See, I appreciate everything. everything. All the love, all the hate, I mean everything. everything. Giving wisdom to my offspring. my offspring. We laced up like shoestrings. Just putting on for the home team. They'll try to block your shine like sunscreen. They will. Yeah. Hey, don't mind me just giving wisdom to my offspring. Hey, let's keep the holy days, holy days. And stay away from my old ways, old ways. Let's keep the holy days, holy days. And stay away from my old ways. Let's keep the holy days. Day, day, holy days. And stay away from my old ways. All praises to the most high. Sure. It's King. Love to the Father, man. Upside down. Yeah. Upside down. Uh -huh. Turn me upside down. Yes. Took me from the bottom to the top. I'm like, wow, I'm like, Upside down. He turned me upside down. He turned me upside down. He took me from the bottom to the top. I'm like, wow, I'm like, how? He turned me upside down. He turned me upside down. He turned me upside down. He took me from the bottom to the top. I'm like, wow, I'm like, how? I was homeless in the shelter. Yeah. Baby mama drama through understanding, man, I felt her. Uh -huh. Deprived of my seed with that anger, had to filter. Wicked in this world, wishing God would have dealt her. I was stupid, leaning on my own understanding. Out doing wicked in the world, underhanded. Hurting on my people in this world, I was abandoned. He shot me off a cliff and I heard it when I landed. I was all broken up, he picked me up and sold me up. Put my family back together in the book, he laced me up. I shit the old man, it wasn't easy, it was tough. Still battle daily with that lust, it be rough No rains, but I put my hands on my purpose There was a time up in this world where it had me feeling worthless My father told me, go and get it, fight the curses He shut my world down, had me get back to them verses like Ow, he turned me upside down He turned me upside down He turned me upside down He took me from the bottom to the top of my wow I'm like, Ow, he turned me upside down He turned me upside down Upside down, he took me from the bottom to the top. I'm like, wow, I'm like, wow. ignorance had me making music for the devil. Mad, cause I couldn't make it past the level. Most people couldn't take it in and make you buy a shovel. Do Only it. through his grace did I exit out the kettle, spending money with these Yankee promoters. I'm talking Q Vision, fake friends, fake folks. Yeah, I'm talking stupid pigeons. Shut me down, made me think and woke me up. The poison that I screwed up on my mouth and soaked it up. Great power come with great responsibility. We up, can't be working with the father, double dipping in Satan's cup. I had to change the words and the message. It came with rewards, the graces and the blessings. And he showed me how to do it, turn a penny to a thousand. Proverbs 10 and 4 had me working, don't be lounging. Took my life in gutter and he molded me a pearl. My life was in destruction when he entered in my world. Like, ah, he turned me upside down. He turned me upside down. He turned me upside down. He took me from the bottom to the top. I'm like, wow, I'm like, how? He turned me upside down. He turned me upside down. He turned me upside down. He took me from the bottom to the top. I'm like, wow, I'm like, how?
Cut this out, build the beat up.